Hey, it's Amelia. Today I'm going to be attempting a brush declutter. I don't expect to declutter a lot, but I do expect to declutter some things and to talk about things that I'm definitely going to declutter if I don't get use out of them by the next one. Sorry if it's shaky. I am going to stabilize my camera um, for the actual declutter part. I just didn't know how to film an intro for this without shaking while holding my camera. Okay, so I think I figured out a good way to set up this so you can see all of my brushes. So this cup here is all of the brushes I used this morning to do my makeup. This is the brushes that I normally use that were in this cup but today I didn't use them so they're going to be washed. I sort of do it every day where I use what I use and anything that's not currently being used goes in there to be cleaned so that the next time I decide to do an eye look using those they're clean. I do wash these as often as I can. Ideally it would be every week but usually not. And then in the back I have brushes that aren't being used currently which will probably be where the declutter really starts. But I do want to go through these brushes starting with these ones. So. This is my Sephora, what is this, Pro Flawless Airbrush in 56. I use this for concealer um, under my eyes and to do like covering acne. I really like it. I use it whenever I use concealer. Today I only used like the smallest dot of concealer under my eyes and I used my foundation brush to do that so I didn't use this today but I still like it, so I'm going to keep it. Um, these two crease brushes, the reason I didn't use them is this one is for my transition shade. I didn't do a transi transition shade today, um, so I didn't need it. And this one I use for adding really dark eyeshadow. Um, this is a dupe for the MAC 217, I believe. It's the Coastal Sense. It's, I think BR stands for brush, it's BR250. Um, I actually was watching a brush declutter yesterday and a girl was like, this brush sucks, I'm getting rid of it. And I was like, oh my god, same. Except I'm not, because I do like it. Um, it's not the softest brush ever, it's kind of scratchy compared to other ones I own. But it gets the job done and it doesn't hurt my eyes, so I'm okay with that. Um, this brush came with the Urban Decay Naked Palette first one and I like it so I'm keeping it. This is a similar flat brush. This is the Hourglass number three. Um, I use this. Some eyeshadows work better with a really stiff flat brush like this. Like it's really, I don't know if you can see. Um, and some work better with this one which is a little fluffier and this is good for other things as well. So I'm keeping it. This is my gel liner brush. Um, it's the Sephora Angled Eyeliner 22 brush. I think it's the Pro. Um, this is really good. I didn't do gel liner today, so I didn't use it, but I use it most days. And this is a CoverGirl brush that I stole from my mom's makeup bag. Um, and I like it for applying and brushing away powder under my eyes after I set my concealer. Sometimes I set the concealer with my sponge and wipe away with this and sometimes I use this for both. So this is good. If I were to find one from another brand I like better, then I'll declutter this, but it serves a purpose. But I didn't use that today because I didn't set my foundation, so that's why I didn't use any of those today. Um, for my crease today, I used these three brushes. I'm going to say blush a lot and I apologize. Um, these are actually, all the white ones are the same brush from Wet n Wild, it's the blending one. But for some reason, every time I get one, they are slightly different in shape. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Um, so I just, based on the shape that it is, pick what it's for. So this one I use for crease, and this one I use for even a, for like a darker crease, because it's actually like a little smaller. Um... So yeah, um, I use this. This is the Hourglass number four. It's a tiny crease brush, like a detail brush. I applied the eyeshadow with this, and then I 
blend it a little more with this. So I'm keeping all of those. I use them all the time. This is the Dome Shadow Brush number 9 from Hourglass. Um, I usually use this for my outer corner, but I've been using it recently as an inner corner highlight brush, and I really like it, so I'm keeping it. Another Hourglass brush I'm keeping is the number 10 Angled Liner Brush. Today I used this, instead of gel liner, I just um, put tape on after I did my eyeshadow and put black where my liner would go and then I smoked it out with this brush again with a dark brown matte eyeshadow so I think it came out nice. It's a lot faster than doing what I normally do. This is the Anastasia brush. Um, it has a spoolie on one end and a square whatever on this end. This I use with my Dip Brow Pomade every day. I originally wanted the angled one, um, but when I went into Sephora in the spring of 2014 to try out the Dip Brow Pomade for the first time, this was the only brush they had with um, with a spoolie at the end, and I really wanted a brush with a spoolie, so I got that, and it's still good. For my um, lid today, I used this brush, which came with my Naked 2 palette. It's the same as the other one I have, but it has a blending-ish brush on the end. I say blending-ish because it's not really... This is kind of like this brush, I guess you could say, but this I can, when it's clean, you can see more that it can come to a point. This one is rounded like that. Oh, there's my son. Hi, Mo. My goldfish. So cute. Um, so I use this for, if I'm putting glitter all over the lid and mattes in the crease, I will use this to like go into the crease a little bit to wipe away any glitter that transfers to make sure that line is separated. Um, these are the Essence of Beauty brushes that I got these at a CVS or a Walgreens years ago when I first got into makeup and this is the best impulse buy I've ever made in my life. These are so good. Um, I love the point that they both come to. This one's really dirty, so it's not going to be as pointed. Um, they don't really sell these in store anymore, but you can get them on eBay or Amazon or something like that. I would highly recommend them. I think they had two different types of packaging. I have the one with the black. I think they come with like a bamboo handle, like Eco Tools. Um, this is my Eco Tools brush, like a handle like this. Um, I have the set that this came in. This brush and another brush I use interchangeably to set my pri eyeshadow primer and I sort of just go back and forth based on how I feel. At the moment I feel like using this one and it works so I'm keeping it. I should probably do one at a time but I'm not getting rid of any hourglass brushes just so you know. So I'm just sharing what I have. This is the number two brush. This is the first one I got. This is the blush and foundation brush I believe. Um, basically hourglass brushes, because of the synthetic hair they have, the specific type, I forget what it's called, um, you can use them in cream products, you can use them in powder products, you can use them in cream, clean off the brush with like alcohol or just wipe them and then go straight into powder, like they're really good brushes and they're really soft, like, okay so I describe them as like puppies, like angel puppies and like... I don't know, if you rubbed an angel puppy on your face, that's how it would feel. Some people um, don't think they're that soft. Some people are like, I have brushes just as soft that aren't that expensive. Um, that may be true. I don't really, so I love these and I will continue to collect them. Um, this is the number one. It's basically a bigger version of the number two, and I use this for powder, bronzer... Um, anything I want to put all over my face. This one I use for blush and highlighter every single day. This is the Hourglass number 7. It's like a kabuki brush. I use this for either powder or... I usually use it for contour, which I know that sounds weird, but just the way I apply it, it works as a contour. Or I could use this for bronzer or whatever else I want. Or if I want to apply, like, highlighter all over my face like not like really glowy highlighter like really subtle satin finish highlighter I'll use this or like this brush 
This is new to me. This is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Brush. I keep the cap on it to keep the shape. Um, I use this a lot. I got this for Christmas. I really like it. It's the same type of... Um, what's the word? I was about to say fiber. Same sort of synthetic hair as all the other ones. So, as I expected, it works great with cream products, and I'm sure it would work great with powder as well. This came with the Maybelline Gel Liner, the Eye Studio in Blackest Black. I really like this for touching up eyeliner. What I do is I dip it in my micellar water, and then I sort of, because it's, it's like, I don't know if it's going to focus, but it's really flat and it comes to a point so I can like really smoothly draw like I don't know how to explain it you know when you buy those cleanup sticks and they like clean up where you mess up your makeup this is basically what I use that for um yeah that was a bad way of explaining it but I think you get the idea this is my real technique sponge I have like four backups I should actually get those. I love these. They're mine get really dirty and they get like they break like this. And I use them until they're like ripped in half. I'm not even joking. Like they get so disgusting and they break off so much before I change them just cuz I'm frugal. I don't want to change my sponge every like 2 months. Um I'm rough with them, so I think that's why. This is my Hot Pink Tweezer Man tweezers. I got these as a Christmas gift one year. On camera, they pull a little more orange. It's sort of like an, a gradient between like a hot coral and a hot pink with more of a purple undertone. So they're really pretty. And they're really good. So I wouldn't use any other tweezers unless I found some that are have the same like sharpness as the Tweezer Man ones. So these are my brushes. These are pretty much... This and the cup next to it are the ones I use every single day to do my makeup. Um, and then where I really have a problem, I wanted to go through just to see if there's anything in there I was unhappy with, but looking through those, I'm really happy with everything. 